What's up, Scorpions? Coach Robbie here. Wanted to talk about a couple more little hitting drills you can do while you're home. Um, and one of the main focuses I want to talk about today is being able to stay in our legs and limit head movement. So when you're in your load or in your stance, and as you're getting into your leg, you want to make sure that your head is not moving all up and down or side to side. Ideally, we want to be able to stand on the side and put your head in a box and your head not leave that box. So one of the drills you can do at home get to a lunge position, be here, when you load, swing and hold it, and you should be able to stay still and have your not have your head coming up or falling way back. Alright, so what Davin here, he's going to demonstrate it. Uh, what we want is for him to be strong in his lower half, and when he gets done swinging, not come up. Good. Do another one. Good. So on that one, he has a slight extension with that back leg. We want to keep that back leg bent. That's where you're going to get all your power from in your lower half. So one thing a lot of young players especially have problems with is getting stuck on their backside and just sitting and spinning. We want to get our hips involved and be able to create more power through our lower half. So one drill you can do, I like to call it the Happy Gilmore, is you take about uh, five to six feet back. It might vary for the younger guys. And you want to take a step, come back, and hit. And when you do this, a lot of the times what you can do, especially if you have bad problems with getting stuck on your uh, backside, is have your backside come through like this. Just getting, getting everything warmed up and making sure your hips are getting involved. And of course, ideally, we want to be working on the inside part of the ball, driving it through the middle of the field. Good. See it again. Have that right leg come through. Good. So the purpose of this is to make sure that when we're hitting, we're not staying here and just getting stuck on our backside. We want to get our hips and our lower half involved. And the best way to do that is to get a little bit of a weight transfer in your swing when you're going and driving through with that back hip. So like we talked about with the first drill, a lot of kids have problems with head movement. And when we have too much head movement, it's a lot, a lot more difficult to pick up the spin on the ball as well as just see the normal elevation of the ball. So one thing you can do is when you go to swing, I want you to take your stride, get to where you stride, and you're ready to hit and start from there. And from there, there's no rock back, there's no nothing, you're already in your legs, and you're already in a powerful position to hit. But I want you to focus on, when you're doing this, is this head stays as still as possible. Going through the ball like that. So you want to make sure that when you're swinging, you're here and you're not lunging forward at the ball or you're not going back. You have to make sure that head's in a good position and it's staying still and in that box we talked about. Better. Yeah, scoot up some. hands are working on the inside part of the ball, staying through it. Good. 